I spent $58,000 on Bitcoin mining machines that are now out in the far reaches of West Texas desert using natural gas that was previously being burned and dumped into the atmosphere to turn into electricity, to turn into magical internet money. I'm harnessing the power of the earth to get rich from magical internet money with machines just like this. And saving the planet in the process? Question mark? Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? This is a Bitmain Ant Miner S19 Pro 110 Terra Hash Mining ASIC. This thing is like 40 pounds and I've got six of them out in the desert of West Texas. This isn't even a term you say very often, but between your machines and my machines, once we get all these things turned on, we have 1.2 petahash. Petahash. 1.2 petahash on the SHA256. Bitcoin mining past the envelope burning through the sound barrier. Hey friends, Andy here. How you doing? Good to see ya. I'm shouting because I'm in the middle of a bunch of Bitcoin miners. And somewhere around here is Space Design Warehouse hanging out with me, watching a bunch of natural gas, going to a bunch of generators, going to a bunch of Bitcoin miners, including the ones I have, which are going in right here behind me, along with his miners. So why don't we jump in there Check out this tour, see what all this noise and fuss is about. Let's go, come on, let's get in there. Let's get after it. Yeah, so we drove across Texas, which- We did, six or seven hours. Because they have all these oil fields and out of the ground cometh natural gas. They take the gas that was gonna be flared off, which is gonna be flared off no matter what. So they'll divert that gas, run it through a generator to run Bitcoin miners. Deep in the Texan desert, there's not much except for heat and dust. But if you know where to look, you might find gold. Well, digital gold, Bitcoin. Musk miners turned an oil site into a Bitcoin mining facility. This site was just burning or flaring its natural gas because that's what most of these sites do. Now it's not just being wasted, this site has a purpose. This is advanced Bitcoin mining. So we showed up to get in on some mining and see what pro Bitcoin mining is all about. And just about everywhere you look around here, there are boxes and boxes of ant miners was primarily going into this container, our S19 Bitmain ant miner, Bitcoin mining ASICs, and they are everywhere, boxes everywhere. Hundreds and hundreds of miners are going into this thing. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be loud, and it's gonna be hot. And now I am inside the mining container, but I'm not alone. I'm here with Space Design Warehouse. Hello. Hey, there, speaking of, here, <laughs> there he is. Uh, so we are here in, what, where are we? Outside of We are Texas? in West Texas. West Texas. I think that's as far as we're gonna go. Far, deep, West Texas. Yeah, oh yeah. Deep in the heart we're of in West deep Texas. So why are we here? I'm here to witness the birth of a Bitcoin miner. <laughs> we're, we're literally gonna watch this thing fire up. They're yeah. gonna spin the generator it, up. It's gonna come to life for the first time. Yeah, and all these ASICs are gonna breathe to life and start making magic internet money. That's right. And you have ASICs here. I do, I have five of them here. They're really easy to spot because they have no, the, I've been messing with them for the last many months. Wires are just all over the place and the covers are all broken. They're pretty dirty. And oh, there is oh, Chris okay. behind us walking up to the bo couple boxes. Wavra. Zoom in uh -huh. on that editor guy. Get Wavra. in there. See ya. Pythons. <laughs> we gotta get a beep in that one. <laughs> and so uh, I also have some ASICs here. They're gonna be plugged in, powered on. You know, right now we're racking some S19s. Most of them are brand new, but it's a pretty straightforward process. Take them out of the box, take them out of that beautiful wrapping, set them on the shelf. The container came prefabricated with the ethernet cord, so we just plug those bad boys in, run the power cords to the machines, label them, because we like organization, I'm an old fashioned guy, and then we go, and that's it. And we love what we do. Nicholas actually literally put your ASICs on the shelf. I did, the B-roll of that is running right now. And so I think Musk Miners is gonna pay us for doing that, like we are earning union wages. Oh no, for the work performed. Today. Oh yeah, no, no, not for being here, but right. for actually helping no, them build absolutely. this. Absolutely, yeah. There yeah. will be a, an invoice in the mail soon. We basically built this thing, as far as I'm concerned. That's right. Pretty much, this is our container, really. Yeah. I mean, uh, Blake technically owns it, but really, we built this just now. Blake yeah. Reiner of Musk Miners. Yeah. Each and every one of these little banks right here is 125 amps broken into six sections. I'm in between where some of these Bitcoin miners are going to sit on these here shelves. And ours only account for 10 out of the 300 machines that are gonna be in these racks. You only have five here? I think it's six. I have six, I have one at home. You have one at home. I have six here, so we Ooh. have 
We have more. 11. Now, people get into Bitcoin because they want something that goes up in value and makes them wealthier over time. Then, if you can figure out a way to layer on top of that, a way to earn even more while you sleep, well, then that is the ultimate dream. And that's basically exactly what I've been chasing this whole time. Ever since I first learned about Bitcoin, the idea of owning some miners, having a piece of that passive earning uh, income pie was a big time dream of mine. I mean, why wouldn't you want these little metal boxes that magically spit out Bitcoin into your wallet every single day? Now, I started my mining journey in my shed, but it's really more ideal for GPU miners and not these ASICs. For the ASICs, I need way more power and more airflow. Bitcoin miners are expensive, they are loud, they use a ton of electricity, and they spit out a ton of heat, and I bought six of them. And right here behind me is my little mining shed, which just was not gonna cut it. And right here behind me is a giant, giant gin set. It's a generator that takes the gas, turns it into electricity, and pumps it into that mining container. 430 kilowatts just from this one, and they're gonna line up a bunch more of these to power all the other bays of that generator. Uh, easily enough to run. 50 miners on the one. We got another a gen set coming in later today. We're gonna to be able to run up 400 miners today without any issues. Six months it took to be able to do this. 13 months, hard work and dedication. All right, now I'm at the very far end of this 53-foot mining container, right in between the two air intakes. This one's an intake, that one's an intake. All the cooler, well, Texas cooler air goes in from this side, through these air filters, through all the miners, from the exhaust fans, out the other side, taking all that heat with it. Look at this crazy thing, this big metal box, and I'm at one far end of it. And now I am on the back side of this container. These are the exhaust fans. They are giant exhaust fans with louvers. Also, behind me is all the electrical connections, the gas pipeline running past here, the gas going into the uh, generator. Uh, this is where all the magic happens in the back end to power all the miners inside this crazy thing. So six ASICs here, five ASICs here, 1.1 petahash of SHA-256. Mining power. Yeah. Application specific integrated circuit oh, just mining keep on saying power. All these words. As for the how much, well, I spent $58,000 on six Bitmain S19 Pro 110 terahash mining ASICs. And inevitably, the next question I can just picture you thinking right now is how much will these dang things make me? Each one of these will make me $13.42 in raw revenue per day, cost me $6.24 in electricity cost per day, and I will profit 718, which means in raw revenue, I will make a little over $400 per month right now. And if I do the same calculation here uh, with my entire six miners, you will see that my six miners together in raw revenue number will make about $80 per day or $2,400 per month. But a little under half of that will go to the power cost. The next thing you might be thinking is, Andy, that is a lot of money and those break-even times are super, super long. In fact, if you look at what to mine, it says the break-even time is 1,345 days. So, am I just a big idiot? When will I actually ROI on this and begin to enjoy my profits? Well, context is super important. We are in the middle of a bear market. Uh, Bitcoin's price is less than $30,000. But also, I don't care about break-even times. The numbers and calculations are incredibly fickle. They change every single day and they change at the drop of a hat. And let me drop my hat. The only things I care about is how much Bitcoin will I accumulate on a monthly basis with these machines and how many years of mining will these machines give me? Well, there is some relevant data. If I look back at the Bitmain uh, Antminer S9, which came out in 2017, they are still in operation nearly five years later and still profitable. So what that means for me is I'm not viewing this as a one year or two to your investment. I'm thinking about year three, year four, and year five. Now, another reason that break-even times aren't really relevant in my mind is because I'm thinking long-term with the Bitcoin price. In fact, here, if I go into the calculator on what to mine and I put in the mythical, the magical $100,000 Bitcoin and do the calculation, you will see that my miners per month will make $8,101. But in the next five to 10 years, I really believe in $500,000 to $1 million Bitcoin. So let's take a look at $500,000 Bitcoin and you will see that in a month, my miners will have made $40,000 in raw revenue. 
Now, of course, you're saying, Andy, but at that point, the difficulty will go up. More miners will be on the network. And yes, that's true. But I plan to just mine this Bitcoin and hang on to it for years and years, which means retroactively, I will have mined this amount per month when these prices happen. But for the sake of future thinking with these miners, let me add a zero to the difficulty. So we do a 10X on difficulty and run that calculation. And you will see that in the future, if in the next five years, Bitcoin hits $500,000 and the difficulty 10Xs from where it is currently, I will still be making over $4,000 in raw revenue per month, which is actually pretty amazing. So why didn't I just buy some Bitcoin directly with my money instead of buying these miners? I could buy nearly two Bitcoin if I use the money to do that instead. So why hardware? Well, if you look at the calculations, you can see that my six miners will generate one Bitcoin in roughly a year. So that means after two years, I will have accumulated basically two Bitcoin or the amount I could buy if I use the money directly to buy that right now. However, that doesn't matter. What matters is after year two, that's when the real magic happens. Because once I earn those two BTC, which I could buy directly right now, my miners continue to operate. So year three, year four, and year five, I generate more than the initial two Bitcoin. And that is the moment, that's the inflection point when these miners make a whole bunch of sense, that long-term thinking. So this video is not sponsored by Musk Miners, but I do really like Musk Miners. I've chosen them as my supplier of ASICs and also where I'm hosting my ASICs. The big problem with ASICs, in my opinion, is it's so easy to get scammed. There are so many scammy websites out there that just wanna take your money with no hope of actually sending you a working mining machine. So I wanted to find a reputable ASIC dealer out there that I could personally vouch for, and that is Musk Miners. If you are interested in buying an ASIC for yourself, use the link in the description. I think I do get a little bit of a kickback when you use that link, but again, this isn't sponsored. I just really like them. And if you enjoyed all this talk about Bitcoin mining and all the cool opportunities out there, then watch this video right here, uh, which is episode three of my podcast, Andy and Friends, where I interview and talk to Nicholas Johnson or Space Design Warehouse. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy your vision quest into the Texan desert with Bitcoin mining. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.